is Soundgarden's Burden in My Hand. First thing to realize is that the tuning is uh, basically a pain in the ass. Um, you have to tune quite kind of low, and I find that low tunings tend to come out. So, here it is in any event. Hope it doesn't happen to you. But I use my B string to tune my E and D strings both down to C. Okay. Then I use the G string to tune the A and the B down to G. And E stays the same. High E. And once you tune it, you can play around with it. Always checking on, I try the harmonics. Make sure that's in tune. So here we go. Uh, let me play the verse slash intro for you first. string fifth fret and yeah, I'm sorry your middle finger A string fifth fret and the ring finger on the B string fifth fret and just watch my thumb that's gonna tell you when to hit the A string for that bass note and I low E is muted in this part okay get that Sorry, pressing, uh, barring the bottom three strings, G, B, and E on the third fret. Then just hammer on and pull off on the E string with the pinky, or I guess you can use your ring finger. And I take this middle finger, I'm sorry, point finger, slide that up so that the bar is on the bottom five strings, muting the E. And then you're going to hit the A string twice again using your ring or pinky on the E string, 5th fret. Now full bar. Okay, so I'll do that one more time. Full bar. And then... And that. It's just a hammer on, pull off on the bottom three strings. Second fret, playing all the strings with it. So one more time, very slow. That's a pull off to there. Again, the rhythm is the hardest thing I think in this song. Um, because it's an open tuning, you can pretty much at times screw screw up a fingering here and there, but um, it's it's the timing that really gets you. And I'm sure my timing is wrong in parts too. Okay, so that's the first part. Second part is let me put it for you. drums. And then P. 
pinky. I use pinky to rotate the wrist out. Pinky goes on the D string, fifth fret. I'm sorry, seventh fret. And then you have your um, uh, G and B on the fifth fret with your pointer still. Okay. And it's. And then slide the pointer down to the fourth fret. Time is a little different. So instead of sliding up, you're going to do it with your pinky finger here, okay? So you're just going to press on your pinky on the fifth fret G string. Then you're going to go into a full bar on the fifth fret. Then, then down to three. slide up to the chorus, 12th fret, it really helps to have a cutaway. I play it, I, I don't bar the entire 12th, I just bar the bottom 5 and play it with the E open. It's basically the same note because it's at the 12th fret and it's a different octave, so I leave that open, it's a little easier to play, barring all the strings on the 12th. slide now fully bar the 12th fret with the G, B, and E on the 15th. Slide that down relative to the pointer finger to the 10th fret. Then you're going to pull off. And then 8th fret, 8th fret, 3rd fret, and then with the, with the E. Again. Okay, that's the chorus. So I screwed up that interlude part. Here it is. Eighth. I'll play for you first. strings that it incorporates on this part, which is uh, A, D, and G. So initially, all three on the eighth fret, and then the D and the G on the ninth, uh, tenth fret, 
and then up to the 11th fret. Then you go down to open. And that's G, B, and E, 2, 3. Open, 2, 3. That's 3, 5, 3. Then you slide this up to, let me just, A, D, and G. <clears throat> um, on the 6th fret. So it's 6. And then again with D and G on the 8th to 9th, back to open, 2, 3, over the bottom 3, and then 3, 5, 3, and then full barred 10, 5, 6, 5. That's the interlude.